Hey, it's Nick Ippolito, traveling across America and abroad, visiting casinos everywhere, delivering my signature casino host sales training and my casino host boot camp. While I'm visiting these properties, I'm gonna take a little time out, meet with some of the top executives that run these departments and run these properties. I am here today at the Pachanga Resort and Casino in beautiful Temecula, uh, California. I'm up here in the Eagle's Nest. We're at the top of the Pachanga Casino uh, at the lounge. I'm here with Bill Anderson, uh, Vice President of Player Development, and right now, interim CMO. Bill, thanks for doing this, taking the time with me here today. I really Thank appreciate you, it, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to be up here in the Eagle's Nest. Uh, so I, I wanted to take a minute out to uh, ask you, who is Bill Anderson? How did you end up in the uh, industry, in our casino industry, and now running player development, now interim CMO at the uh, Pechunga Resort and Casino? Wow, so um, there you go. I have a, uh, uh, quite an extensive history in gaming. Um, I, I actually uh, like to talk about my father first, if, if that's okay. Absolutely. So if my father was still alive, this July would be his 100th birthday. And he started in gaming in 1934, I think it was, in the back rooms of Mississippi. And um, I was actually born in the island of Curacao, my dad ran a casino uh, down there. Then we moved to Freeport, Bahamas, and uh, was there another two years before eventually moving to Las Vegas. So basically, I grew up in the industry. Submerged. My father, absolutely. You, you know, he was in and out of it um, most of his life. Um, about. Uh, my senior year in high school, he uh, ended up moving to Lagos, Nigeria, and uh, was in Lagos, Nigeria for five years and before coming back and then finally dying at the ripe old age of 84. But it was a, a history, uh, and it's kind of fitting that, that I'm talking about him on his 100th birthday. It really is. Yeah, unplanned, by the way. Unplanned. Yeah. Completely yeah. unplanned. So anyways, um, so I started off um, in the gaming industry. Um, I went to college in Reno, so I went to UNR, and got my business degree. And obviously, when I turned 21, it's, an, it's a natural job just to jump in. So right. my first job was in the race and sports book at the El Dorado Casino. Hey, I don't know. And so I did that. Um, so I, writer, book writer. Yeah, book writer, yeah. writing bets, sure, sports sure. bets, pony bets. Yep. Um, yeah. Great college job, at great hours. I could do my whole college thing. Um, and then I had about three months before I graduated with a business degree, and I answered an ad in the paper at the Alanis Casino, which at the time was called the Clarion. The Clarion. Little Clarion. John Ferrari, the, the John owner, Ferrari. was growing this little empire down at the end of, uh, I think, what, oh, I forget the name of the street now. Anyways, um, and uh, there was an app for a casino host, so I applied for it. And rightly so, the guy who interviewed me, Dave Fuller, said, Dave Fuller. Sorry, you have no experience as a yeah. casino host, but we're opening a rewards club. Would you like to do that job as a rewards rep? I said, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, so I took that job, and then um, within, I think, three months, I hit, we had our first slot tournament on property, and the marketing guy, Randy White, called me down and says, hey, I need help doing the slot tournament. I said, sure, I'll help you. So I go to the slot tournament, gave me a microphone, and here I am on the mic the whole day. Wow. After I was done, he says, hey, you want a job in marketing? I said, sure. Wow. So I got a promotion to marketing coordinator, and believe it or not, I think it was when I was 27, about four years later, um, uh, four years later, um, I got my first director position wow. of VIP services. So wow. I was over the host, right. over rewards club, and I never works. even was a host. So right. that's, that's how I got in wow. the, the hosting site. So, so then this was, yeah, I have so much now spinning in my head. Um, did you say your father's name? Charles Edward Anderson. Charles Edward Anderson. Yes. You know, he's known as, around these parts, he's known as Whispering Bill Anderson. He's very quiet, calm, cool, collected. Did you say you were on a microphone? <laughs> yes, yes. Wow, I wish we had YouTube of that. So I did six and a half years, I think, at the wow. Linus, and then Probably the first time I, you know, first time I got recruited for another company for a job. Um, so I got sold uh, a bill of goods and, right. and all. We all great remember stuff. our first headhunt, right? The first time. We and were I got all offered a little bit more money, and I yeah. thought, oh my God, I'm this. Uh, so yeah. I, uh, I, I did. Uh, uh, I 
took the job at the Hyatt. I was director of casino marketing up there. I lasted 11 months. I Beautiful. commuted from Woo. Sparks <laughs> up to Incline Village, and yeah. I did one winter, and yeah. that was about that was it. it. And I was very lucky. Uh, Mr. Silverling, Michael Silverling, mm -hmm. was the GM at Great Harris names. Reno, and he uh, offered me a position as director of VIP services at the Reno property, which was Great. That was a flagship yeah. for Harris. Beautiful. Um, so I got exposed to a lot, a lot of new things there. Uh, Asian marketing, for example. I was going to say junkets, first, air programs. All that. Uh, well, that was the first exposure to all that Asian yeah. marketing, air, uh, yeah. junkets, and, and big, big programs. VIP play yeah. uh, in, in there. So it was, it was quite a great experience. So I did two and a half years with um, with Harris, and then. Uh, this little place called Thunder Valley was going to be opening in Sacramento, yes, which yeah. if you're a marketer in Reno at the time, you realized that was going to kill Reno. Absolutely. And so I, I jumped on board and they offered me the VP of Player Development to open that property. Yeah. And so I was lucky enough to uh, open that property and was there about six and a half years. About halfway through when I was there, I was uh, promoted to the VP of Marketing and Player Development. Um, so I got both sides of uh, the marketing experience, and then um, when, when the and, that, and now you have now you have even more. Well, first of all, you get you get there, and now you see that local market, right? That 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 uh, I guess we call them a local market where they drive in, right? And not only that, talk about Asian marketing, right? It's very high Asian marketing, Thunder Valley, and a great bus program, and all. So now you're exposed on even a bigger level yeah. than than being in Reno and. and yeah, Sacramento, the Asian, just, the Asian yeah. play there was, was phenomenal. Still it. Matter of fact, my that. old director of Asian marketing, Kitty Chu, is now the vice president of mass marketing at the Venetian in Macau. Oh, huge, huge wow. job there. Yeah. I think she has 600, uh, 240 posts wow. underneath uh, her <laughs> regime. So. Let's get her on this show. Yeah, 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 she's great now. Yeah. And I ended <laughs> up uh, uh, getting to uh, Maristar. And Oh, Colorado, Blackhawk, yep. Colorado. I remember that. And they just opened up a brand new 500 room resort spa, beautiful property, about 45 minutes from downtown Denver. So perfect timing, perfect time to come yeah. on to the Ameristar, to that yeah. company. So I was VP of Marketing and Player Development there, which was a fun experience, you know, back in the corporate type atmosphere, and uh, did that for about two and a half years before the opportunity at uh, Pachanga opened up. Gotcha. And, I, um, it was interesting um, how that happened. I was actually doing some side uh, consulting work for Boyd Gaming, which um, I have a little history with Boyd. My brother is, is pretty Correct. high up in the Boyd uh, company. And uh, he asked me to, to if I would work on a project for their Indian project up in Elk Grove, uh, mm -hmm. which they eventually got the um, contract for. Right. Um, so he um, knew a gentleman by the name of Louis. Uh, uh, Mr. Rudy Pareto, Rudy Pareto, yeah, who just took the GM job at uh, at uh, Pachanga, yeah. and uh, I was lucky enough to have a phone call with Rudy. Flew Another me great out. big icon in this industry. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't know it, yeah, flew out here, had a mass rush interview, and got hired on Tuesday. Flew out on Friday, got hired on Tuesday. That was kind of the, wow. the thing. I took the that was uh, six and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I took. Uh, the director of player development, got promoted to vice president of player development a couple years, and now in turn uh, chief marketing officer. So kind of kind of a fun fun run with yes. the Pachanga. So. Very good. Yeah. And in, uh, so I was here not too long ago here at uh, Pachanga and thoroughly impressed uh, with uh, your team, your, your host team, and we did a lot of sales work. We did, of course, the telemarketing and a lot of PD, a lot of training. And you did, I, I think you've done a wonderful job, six and a half years, and obviously now here in your entire lineage, your, your resume, I, I see why you keep getting promoted and keep moving to these great jobs. Um, uh, you've done a fantastic job here uh, at Pachanga. They have everything they need. They, the, the tools they have, I think you've built an internal CRM program, and. Um, not only, and not only do they have the tools they need, but they're a tight team. Um, you know, for years when I was a, a, a PD a director and vice president, I, I was more accountability than I was rah-rah. You know, I didn't have a lot of the rah-rah. And now I recognize it as I travel to all these casinos and I train uh, managers that you need that good balance and you definitely have captured that. You have the accountability, you're the boss, but yet you have the, the I call it the rah-rah, you know, the, the, the good feeling as well. Um, so what else is going on here at Pachanga with your team? So, so with the host team, you know, you're absolutely right. There's, there's a balance you have to do. Um, 
you know, ultimately when I came on board, you know, I had to look at the business and say, okay, how can I make the host life easier? Right. That's, you know, because to me, because why? Right. Hosts have the toughest job on property, in my opinion. Um, you know, when they're off work, they're getting calls from customers. When they're on vacation, they're getting calls from customers. Uh, when they're eating breakfast, they're getting calls from customers, and it, it's a lot of stress on on them. So, you know, we had a process where. You know, host would get a call from a customer. They would have to call into someone else. You know, it was a 20, 30 minute process to take care of a customer issue. So I'm thinking to myself, hey, there's got to be ways to ease that burden on, on the host team. So uh, thankfully, we have a wonderful IT team. And I will tell you, without our wonderful IT team and development team, a lot of this stuff couldn't be possible. And if I can share my wisdom with anyone, have a really good IT team yeah. and buy developers that can write programs and help you develop wow. the tools you need. Great advice, uh, because it's, the gonna, money. it's gonna pay off in the long run. So anyway, so now my hosts, when they're at home, they have a host application that they can type in the account number, they can look up all the information, they can actually do a comp right from their phone. Mm -hmm. um, the next stage of it is to let them book uh, from their phone hotel rooms as well too. Um, this is one of the first properties I've seen where hosts carry iPads on the floor. Yep. The iPads actually sync in with their computer upstairs. They can look up all the information they need on the customer or whether we have tickets available for this or that and, and so forth and, and basically be a one-stop shop right at their, their wow. iPad as well too. You know, it's kind of funny, I posted on LinkedIn last quarter that our host hit 22 quarters in a row. And I got some great hurrah and mm -hmm. some, well, you need to increase the, yeah. the, 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 the benchmarks, you know, like right. you're a dummy, you're not, you know. Right. And, and it's kind of funny because I look at it and, and our team has uh, increased uh, gaming revenue uh, significantly wow. Wow. in the higher end side. Matter of fact, our thousand plus uh, ADT level group every year has been the highest growth in each category in double digits in most wow. of the years. So it's wow. kind of a fun. Which is uh, the goal of many casinos yeah. I visit in the end. And what and the benchmark they're trying to hit. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of know it alls on LinkedIn, so don't get yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> get too discouraged. Um, no, fantastic team, you do a fantastic job here. The hosts are very happy, but they're very productive and very efficient, and, and, and I salute you for that. So, what a lot of construction when I pulled up here, what's going on here? And, and I couldn't leave Vegas uh, uh, two days ago without, I, I, before I was even out of Vegas, I saw five billboards with, with yeah. the new Pachanga. So what, tell me about the brand real quick. So, so we uh, had a big brand uh, project where we created a new brand and logo, um, which uh, um, the old logo, you know, has been about 15 years and it's taken an evolution. And this is one step further in that evolution where we really, it's becoming a luxury brand. Now you have the P as the iconic logo. Wow. And that feather skirt that we had, the eagle feather skirt, kind of gets wrapped up in part of the P. And mm -hmm. so it's kind of a, yeah, a very, really very nice cool, design. and if you see a, a video of the whole process, you, you go, wow, that's pretty cool. And then, um, you know, with the property it, itself, we're going through a major expansion. Uh, we're adding another 560 rooms wow. to get us up to 1,100 Beautiful. rooms. Beautiful. Uh, right now, the property, has uh, 4,200 slots and eventually about 5,000 is where we want to be. Right. Um, we're also adding a four acre reserve, uh, resort spa uh, area. The spa will be a standalone, kind of like Green Valley Ranch. Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of a standalone, um, two story, just, just going to be an awesome facility. And then um, we also have uh, about 60,000 square feet of convention space, including a huge mm -hmm. special event arena i would say that can hold up to about three thousand people at our concerts oh, great events, good, so. good, good concerts so very very exciting stuff fantastic yeah. fantastic yeah this is a gorgeous premier property I, I i dare say if you haven't been here yet come visit because you 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 have to see it uh pechanga premier uh, uh, casino out here in temecula um we're here with whispering Bill Anderson. That's uh, so. Make sure you all send emails and, and notes uh, with that with that title. Uh, thank you very much, sir. It's absolute pleasure. I love being here at Pachanga. I love coming here and love visiting with my friend Bill. And uh, anything to add or, or Nick vote? <laughs> Nick, it's been a pleasure. And wait, you were going to say something? Voted what? I 
Well, I said in the beginning. Didn't okay, I? I think I did, but let's say it again. Pachanga Resort and Casino voted the number one casino in the United States by USA Today. He didn't tell me that. It's on the billboards. I read it in USA Today. It's all over. So it wasn't favoritism. It's the truth. God so bless you. Thank you. Thank you. For more information, please visit my website, nickippolito.com.